shopping has gone from being a chore to an experience, as street performers around the world brighten your day with their impressive skills. While some you may only spare a few dollars for, others are worth your entire piggy bank. From a saxophonist who cranks out the beats, to statues that are anything but, here are 15 of the most amazing street performers in the world. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15, Clown Imitating Baby. Street performers are a common sight throughout the world, particularly in Europe, but it's always the same old acts. A man who can juggle, a mime who can magically get himself stuck in an imaginary box. And pickpocketers who have mastered the art of disappearing. See your wallet? Now you don't. But if you want to make the big bucks, you need to be more like this guy. On the streets of Verona, this street performing clown is cleverly dressed and crafted as a baby. That's right, a screaming, crying, tantrumy, tiny baby. As people sit beside the clown baby to get their photo, he interacts with them by making baby noises, squawks, and squeals. He has a pink silk cloak over his body, his face peeping through the front of the pram, and a fake baby body sitting on the edges of the stroller. There's also a bucket hanging from the edge of the pram, which is for people to show their appreciation of his act. You gotta give it to this guy. He could have been like every other ordinary clown, but he chose to step it up a notch and go for the tantrumy toddler appeal. Number 14, Transformer. Most people are familiar with the Transformers, a series of American action and science fiction television shows and movies from the 1980s until today. But have you seen a Transformer in real life? Probably not, until now. If you're gonna be a street performer, you gotta wow the crowds, and this guy certainly did back in November 2015. In footage uploaded by Liverpool of Life, a street performer is seen wearing yellow and black plastic parts that, in the beginning, look a bit odd. It's not until he switches into his natural state that it all makes sense. He turns up on Church Street in Liverpool, flips his car lid, hunches down, and touches all four wheels on the ground. He then moves across the pavement almost as if he was never a person to begin with. Imagine putting that on your resume. Job title, car. But that's not all. When he comes to a standstill next to a plastic bollard in the same yellow and black color scheme, it's hard to tell the car is actually a person. People even get a fright as he unrolls himself back into his natural human self. Number 13, Golden Man. If you've ever wandered through Covent Gardens in London, UK, then you may have had the pleasure of seeing the Golden Man. The Golden Man is easily one of the best street performers in the world, and you'll have a hard time working out how he does what he does. At first, he looks like a golden statue. He appears to be hovering effortlessly, or at least sitting on an invisible seat. Most people who see him surely want to try and push him over to see if there's something hidden underneath him. He's dressed entirely in gold from top to toe, including his face and hands, and he's holding a glass of beer. His looks and stature are pretty impressive, but that's not what makes him remarkable. It's his movements. The Golden Man seems to float mid-air and uses strange, disjointed movements that almost don't appear human. There's some very impressive trickery going on, or the man has some mad quad muscles to be able to pull it off. Either way, he's worth throwing a few bucks at next time you see him. Number 12, Living Statues. We've all done it, waltzed up to a statue full of confidence to sit on its lap, hug it, hang off it, and get our photo taken. How many times have those statues moved? Hopefully never, but these street performers are proving that you just can't trust statues anymore. The next time you sidle up to one, you'll probably give it a quick pat to make sure it's not human flesh. Patrick Tony and Jesse Ferguson are to blame for our loss of trust. These two larrikins performed in Seattle Center, but it seems that they are the only ones who know they are performing. They'll stand on a street corner in a typical statue-like pose, waiting for someone to come up and take a photo. That's when they leap into action and scare the absolute life out of any one nearby. Children cry and fall over or run for their parents, and even adults can't help but jump 10 feet in the air from shock. After all, no one expects a bronze statue to put their arm around you or steal your hat. Once people realize that the statues are real people, they're more than happy to get their photo taken, but this time fully aware. Number 11, Roman Warrior. 
If you've got a body like a warrior, then why hide it under a suit and tie all day? Become the warrior within, just like this guy did. Performer Duncan Meadows dresses up like a Roman warrior and performs in the streets of Covent Garden in London. Dozens of people line up for photos, especially kids who adore the chance to be near someone who looks like they're from the medieval ages. Duncan, the Roman warrior, has a muscly body painted entirely silver and wears a helmet and warrior clothing to bring the entire look together. When you see Duncan from a distance, it's hard not to think you've been thrown into a time war. He's tall, broad, and wields a giant sword. If you didn't know any better, you'd be running away from him, not toward him. But it's not just his looks that make him a crowd pleaser, it's his personality. The Roman warrior doesn't speak, but his facial expressions and the way he directs the photos for the best snap is a winning recipe. He is clearly one of the most amazing street performers in the world. Number 10, Street Musician. Mustering up enough air to blow out a simple melody on a trumpet is no easy feat. It takes years of practice to master the basics, and most people are out of breath for most of them. But this street performer is making it look like child's play. Karsten Belt, who both uploaded the video to YouTube and features in it, is a street performer and saxophonist. He's seen playing Havana by Camilla Cabello in the streets of Maastricht, Netherlands, as a crowd quickly gathers. It's hard not to want to dance along with the fun and upbeat melody, and you'll see the occasional toe-tapping from adults and full-blown dance moves from local kids. This guy is a master of the sax, and he's got all the moves to go with his impressive performance. What also makes him an incredible street performer is how he plays music that people know. Rather than belt out Bach or Beethoven, he puts on a real classic that today's folk can relate to but he takes it one step further by adding a bit of sass and flair, as if completely deflating your lungs of all air into a tube wasn't enough. Number 9. Gahind it's not uncommon to see a street performer strumming away on a guitar, using drums, or even just relying on their voice. But a gahin? Almost unheard of. This young woman set up in the busy streets of China to amaze crowds with her unique skill set on the gahin. The gahin also goes by the name of Chinese zither and is a plucked string instrument dating back around 2,500 years. The modern version, which this lovely lady performs on, has 21 strings and is tuned into the major pentatonic scale. People sitting in nearby by cafes are captivated by her, but so too are the local children. In the video, a young boy and girl are seen standing on the sidewalk, enthralled by the music she's playing. As her tempo speeds up, the kids become more intrigued and move to see if they can watch her hands at work. <laughs> While not a lot is known about the woman, the video was uploaded to YouTube by the channel called Music Relax. The comments also show that she may play other instruments as well. Number 8. Grand Piano when you think grand piano, you think grand as in elegant, classy, and, well, mind-blowingly awesome. But these two performers really did use the statement grand literally. Grand, meaning absolutely enormous. Instead of sitting in a city street on a regular-sized piano, they chose a giant one that they can walk over. You might think that what they produce is relatively average given the distance they have to travel to hit each key, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The pair, which featured in the Mirabilla Festival with their act in 2017, perform pure magic. They dance, move with the rhythm, and work in harmony with the violinist in the background. They are also dressed to impress, almost like they should be on Dancing with the Stars while they stomp their way to a melodic tune. It doesn't get much more impressive than that. As a street performer, you have to choose a skill set that turns heads. While playing the piano is a skill that fewer people have than ever before, it's even rarer when you're playing with your feet. After all, you'd get funny looks standing all over a regular grand piano. Number 7. The Bucket Boy Have you ever wondered why you've got no rhythm? It's because this guy's got it all and there's there's none left for the rest of us. Matthew Pretty from Los Angeles, California is an international drummer and percussionist. When he's traveling, he makes his money by performing shows on the streets and then uploads the footage to YouTube on his channel The Bucket Boy, where he has gained quite the following. The Bucket Boy now has close to 200,000 subscribers, and that number keeps on climbing. Not only is he skilled on the drum, but Matthew is experienced with, well, two buckets, two old cooking pots, and a cymbal. He then relies on members of the audience to hold them up for him so he can create music and atmosphere in the streets. After the show, he actively encourages people to put money into the bucket he uses as part of the performance, but he does so with humor. He even says that if people give 100 bucks, they can take him home. So Matthew Pretty, the Bucket Boy, not only got all the 
rhythm, but all the smooth talking tactics too. Number six, beatbox. Look away from the screen for a second and just listen. Does what you hear sound like a human or is it computer generated? You'll probably be amazed to know that all that's involved in the creation of that sound is one man, Dave Crow, and his trusty microphone. <laughs> Dave Crow is from London and takes to the streets to show off his mad good skills with dubstep beatboxing. The song and performance were uploaded to YouTube by A Loud Fart, and the song comes from Dave Crow's album, Shakerism. When Dave takes to the busy streets of London, he has just one request. Watch. He encourages and welcomes people to film him, but he believes the real connection is by watching him with your own eyes rather than a phone screen. <laughs> the sounds that Dave can make are akin to those produced by recording technology in a studio, so it's little wonder that dozens of people crowd around to see him in person. He creates a show out of each song and makes sure there's both a build-up and an explosion of sound to shock and surprise. If you love music, any kind of music, then you'll understand why Dave Crow is one of the best street performers. Number 5. Harmonica Raise your hand if you can play the harmonica. And by play, we mean not just blow into it and make a lot of noise, but produce fine music. We thought it couldn't be done, other than by John Popper, of course. But Moses Konkis is proving that it can be. Moses is not only a street performer, but the winner of the seventh season of Italy's Got Talent in 2016. He is one of the world's best harmonica players, and crowds regularly flock to see him perform on the streets. Moses is from Sardinia in Italy and always enjoyed art and music. He studied piano from 6 to 13, but decided to experiment with hip-hop, rap, and beatboxing to connect with his rhyme-based lyrics. Moses is all about musical expression, which has pulled him away from classical music and in a new direction. Nevertheless, the man's got skills. Alongside Italy's Got Talent, Moses was also an instrumentalist and beatboxer on America's Got Talent, The Champions 2. He received a standing ovation from Heidi Klum, but was eliminated before the semifinal. Now, every time someone sees Moses perform on the streets, they know he's not only good enough for shoppers around him, but famous judges on the world stage, too. Number 4. Reggae Busker It's easy to get caught up in our everyday shopping experiences, rushing from one store to the other. What if we were to take a moment and enjoy the entertainment put on for us, or even better, be a part of it? One reggae performer in Brussels, United Kingdom, showed the value in love, unity, and music with a mesmerizing street performance that went for over four minutes. Singing, this is my message to you. The man sang Everything's Gonna Be Alright by Bob Marley and jammed on his guitar while encouraging crowds to join in. At first, people were hesitant, but one woman took the whole performance in her stride. She joined the man on the street and belted out the tune next to him with a stunning voice. The two performed in harmony even though they were previously unknown to each other. Before they know, people are dancing, jiving, finding themselves immersed in the music. It's a magical moment and one shared by dozens of strangers in a public place. As one man, Peter Mac Matthew said in the comments, Music is a moral law. It gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and charm and gaiety to life and to everything. Number three, One Man Band. What would you class as multitasking? Is it talking on the phone while you watch TV or doing the dishes while you cook dinner? This Peruvian street performer is putting you all to shame. Not only does he play the guitar, but a pan flute too, all while controlling three puppets at the same time. As the man performs in the street, he has a drum on his back, bells on his legs to jingle, a pan flute in his mouth, and a guitar in his hands. Occasionally, he's able to reach for another instrument that lets out the tweet of a bird. Then there are his puppets. The three puppets are made up of two baby dolls and a sheep, and they dance on stage while being accompanied by a white alpaca that stands off to the side. If that's not talent, we don't know what is. And the song he plays is not exactly easy, either. He manages to pull off an exciting and energy-evoking rendition of El Condor Pasa. The best part about this performance, aside from the fact that it gets everyone on their feet, is how he manages to stay energetic and enthusiastic from start to finish. It's pleasing to see just how many people stop by and put money in his bucket to make it all worth his efforts. 
Number 2. Brilliant Act It's not all that easy to get a puppet to do what you want without touching them. After all, they're a puppet, so unless you move them, they're not gonna move on their own. Well, at Avora Festival de Marionettas in 2011, one man's performance with a puppet was out of this world. It truly looked like the puppet had a mind of its own. The man was performing to a group of children and adults and had the puppet and a baby piano. He created a story where he was encouraging the puppet to play the piano, but he got nothing but attitude in return. The puppet would roll its eyes, get the man to step away from him, and generally offer a good dose of sass. Everyone from kids to adults was laughing, and it's not that hard to believe that the puppet was actually real. After a lot of build-up and deciding what song to play, the puppet sat down at the piano and began to play. But of course, the marionette is good, but not that good. The music was played in the background by an additional audio source rather than the puppet itself. Number 1. Drummer some people have no rhythm, others have a little bit. Then there are those who just get it all. This young girl is one of them. While we're not sure of her name, the extremely talented drummer appeared on YouTube in a series of videos that showed her playing the drums in a public place to an extremely impressed crowd. She started reasonably slow, playing to the gentle tempo of the music in the background, but then she really gets heated up. The crowds are amazed at how she manages to drum at great speeds and then sustains that pace for her entire performance. However, it's not just her accuracy and speed that's impressive, but her range. She can drum along to heavy metal, but then just as easily she's drumming to Let It Go from Frozen. How's that for versatility? While she's performing, she's also very focused on what she's doing. She doesn't focus so much on the crowd as she does her earphones and what she's hearing through them. Once she ends her performance, she bows and thanks the audience for watching. You may have given your best rendition of Mary Had a Little Lamb on the streets of your local town, but was it up to muster compared to these guys? Can you think of any other impressive street performers you've heard of? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!